everybody, it's Viper GTS. And with the current events going on in the world right now, I thought it would be a good idea to see whose soldiers eat better. So over here we have a 2017 Russian Mountain Ration, a 2018 Russian White Star Ration, and a 2019 Russian Helicopter Ration. And on this side is a Ukrainian Field Ration from 2020. And this is going to be far too much food for just one video. So I think today we're just going to concentrate on the Ukrainian Ration. So let's take a closer look at the packaging and see what we're going to eat. So on the top here, it does translate to daily field set of products, followed by DPNP, menu number one. And here's a list of all the contents in the bag, broken out into breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And here's the total column. So the three of 150 means you get three packs at 150 grams each, with a grand total weight of 2,023 grams. Manufacturer is going to be the Military Volunteer Service Company. Total calories is 3,290. And our production date is August 10th of 2020 with an expiration of June 1st, 2022. And the last time I tried to get Ukrainian ration into the country, this is what customs left me. Some crackers, some bread, coffee, tea, sugar, salt, pepper, one pack of jam, and that's it. And that stinks too because this was a menu number seven, so it was gonna be something different, but what can you do? So let's get into the one that's unopened and see what we got. So I just used a knife to open that up from the back and see what we got. All right, so here's gonna be our breakfast pack. And here's going to be lunch. And then here's going to be some dinner. It's very convenient how they're in three packs like that. So for right now, let's get lunch and dinner out of here and start with some breakfast. Open up this breakfast pack. Some nice big biscuits. Coffee. Uh oh, I see some, some grains in there. Pack of sugar. Here's our main. I'm going to translate that in a second. Looks like a wet wipe and an afternoon spoon. And that's going to be it. Breakfast is going to be chicken with rice, some wheat biscuits, and a cup of coffee. Let's get this heated up. I had the main dish on the boil for about 10 minutes or so. Let's go ahead and get that coffee going. Very fine powder. Might as well use the whole pack of sugar too. Actually, it'll do about half. And I used six ounces of water. Check out these biscuits. They're mostly all in one piece. And then onto the main, which is chicken, vegetables, rice, 350 grams, manufactured 6 1 2020. Nice tear notch. All right, it smells good. And for a closer look, you can see the big piece of chicken there. Looks like some shredded carrot as well. So a nice big portion for breakfast. It smells great too. And I was worried about the size of that piece of chicken because there's no knives with this, but it broke apart really easily. Great flavor, salt is perfect. I'd say the texture is a bit soft, but uh, the cracker should help with that. Let's give that a try too. Crackers are a bit stale, but I guess that's that's kind of typical with the Russian nations as well, so not much of a surprise there. But this is great. Very big breakfast. No other vegetable in here except for the carrot that I can see, but the amount of chicken you get is fantastic. Try that coffee too. That's actually a really good cup of coffee, not bad. All right, so I'm gonna finish this up and we're gonna move on to lunch. This is the biggest pack of them all. We have that same napkin spoon set up. Another wet wipe. 
pack of sugar. Hmm, this is probably some type of small pack of jam here. One tea bag. A huge main, 500 grams on that. And then a secondary pack at 350. We'll translate those. Another pack of those wheat crackers. Some, uh, looks like some rye bread. And a salt and a pepper. So for lunch it translates as a beef and vegetable soup. And over here is a potatoes with pork and vegetables. And this one's cherry jam. Along with some of our uh, wheat crackers here. And some rye bread. And a cup of tea. Let's get this stuff heated up. I got the cup of tea going with another half pack of sugar. And here's some more of those stale biscuits. Well, they might be stale. These have a bit of a curve to them. Let's check those out right now. Yep, just a stale. Let's try that rye bread. And a little touch of that cherry jelly. This sounds good. Looks good too. Bit watery. That bread is very hard, but the jam is nice. And on to our beef and vegetable soup. Just got a bowl here. Whoa. And that's full too, that's 500 grams. And then over to the pork. You can definitely smell the cabbage coming out of the borscht soup though. And here's pork, potato, with vegetables. This is also pretty watery, so this might go everywhere. Wow, massive lunch. All right, let's take a look. And here's the pork with potatoes and vegetables. And then here's the borscht soup. So much food here, it's hard to know where to start, but let's go with the soup first. Very, very strong smell of cabbage expected. It's good, but it's very oily and almost sweet in a way. It's hard to put my finger on what it is, but yeah, just, just extremely sweet. Um, the beef is, is there, it's small. You can see some beans, potatoes, carrots as well. Good flavor, just, just way too sweet for a soup. But I'm sure that's exactly the way it's supposed to be. And then onto the pork. I did put the packet of pepper on here. Another oily, fatty dish, but you know, you need your energy out in the field, so I could totally see why they do it that way. Good flavor, I mean, not much to it really. Um, soft texture, no salt to it at all really. And um, mostly flavorless. You, of course you taste the, the pork in there, potato and carrot come through, a little bit of onion, but other than that, no, no real seasoning to it. And the only sweet ingredient I've come across so far is that cherry jam. And on this little rye toast, the flavor was good, but the, the toast is so hard that it's going to break my teeth, so I'm probably going to try a little bit of this by itself. Very natural flavor, and again, great kick of sugar. Might as well break up the rest of this rye bread and put it in here. Should help soften it up, give this some texture. And honestly, with such a huge portion, I'm not sure if I'm gonna need dinner, but you know, I'll go ahead and do it anyway. So I'm gonna have a few more bites of this, wait a couple hours, and I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm pretty damn full, but let's check out what's for dinner. On the top here, we got a packet of honey, all right. No sugar and a tea bag. A slightly different toast. Some more of those crackers. Different label on this one though. Well, maybe not. Another wet nap. 
Same spoon and napkin combo. Let's see what we got here. Big 350 main again. And a pack of salt. I just translated everything. And it looks like for supper we've got some pork kasha. Some more of those wheat crackers. And this is a wheat based bread. Some honey and tea. And that should be it. So let's get this on the boil. Okay, so I had that in the boil for about 10 minutes. Unpacked the wheat crackers and the wheat bread. And I uh, left the tea alone, didn't put any sugar in that because we got the honey here. Might as well try some by itself too. A little bit crystallized, but really good. Let's add some to the tea. I also try a little bit on a piece of this bread. It's crunchy again, but not as crunchy as the other one. And check out that kasha. 350 gram pack, made in June of 2020. Another massive portion. And here's a closer look at the pork kasha. So there's no way I'm gonna be able to finish all this, um, but the pork kasha, gotta give it a try. I thought this was typically a breakfast style item, but I guess not in this case. Good flavor, yeah. Very smooth texture, very soft. Pieces of pork are nice and big though. Um, the only vegetable I do see is carrot, which does come through in the flavor a little bit. Um, tried the cracker, and it is stale, just like the other ones are. But these wheat biscuits are good, especially with the honey. Um, I did put a little bit of honey in the tea as well. Yeah, it's good, but I'm glad I saved a lot of the honey because it's a lot better on the bread than it is in the tea. So I'm going to eat what I can on this, which isn't going to be too much because I'm still very full from lunch. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been a 2020 Ukrainian field ration. See you next time.